Hey there, so in this tutorial I'm going to discuss how you can install Apache JMeter on your Ubuntu system. There are two ways to do the installation. You can go ahead from the Ubuntu Software Center or you can go through the terminal. In case of terminal, all you have to do is just type sudo apt-get install JMeter. Another alternative that I have already told you about is searching for JMeter. Okay, this is a much better way as you know the version that you are going to download will be stable for your version of Ubuntu. So let's click on install. It will ask you for the password. And then it will take its time to download all the dependencies and also installing the base application. If you are using any other operating system like Macintosh or Windows, then you have to go to their official website and then go to the download links where you find download releases okay so here you have option to download the binary in zip or a tar file once downloaded you will find that directly like this when extracted inside which you will find folders like bin, docs, extras, lib, licenses and printable docs out of which you will find executable for JMeter inside bin folder inside which you have to find a shell script or simply a batch file here it is jmeter.bat which you can run inside Windows operating system in case of shell script you can have to use this one and you can use it on Mac and Linux also you have shell script for shutdown stop test and few other commands so if you're using Windows then you'll be using this and in case of Linux all you have to do is go through the respective installation process it will take some time for the installation you can watch here it is about 139.4 MB installer and it will take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your internet connection once the installation is completed you will find that inside your Ubuntu operating system you can search for JMeter and you will find this icon click on it it will load us the UI of software so this is how the Apache JMeter will load as it is Java based application so it will be quite heavy on your system so you will find some lag in between working with these menus as well so this is our test plan inside our test plan we can give it our own name for that plan and add some comments we can also add the variables that goes with our performance testing also the number of thread groups that we want to run 
also we want to add any particular directory or library to be added to class path so that if any particular web application requires specific libraries uh, that should be uh, jmeter needs to use while running the test if you have that sort of application from the server end then no need to add them here however some of the class path needs to be updated for those libraries if the one that served from the server doesn't work also there are a lot of uh, limitations that jmeter browser has as it is not completely about browser and so a lot of javascript based code won't perform very well which will be addressed in future versions of apache jmeter then the second is workbench we can name it and add the comments we can also add the elements here like proxy server mirror server then logical controller where we go for if and else condition while performing certain operation then config elements like data variables counters and http related settings also we have timer here and preprocessor sampler post processes assertions and listeners in case of test plan you can right click and add third group config element timer preprocessor post processor assertions and listeners we will go through them depending on our project in future tutorials for now I want to show you just this simple geometer UI and hope you will find this in your operating system which is Ubuntu if you followed the same procedure for installation like I did and if you have any other questions feel free to let me know and uh, I will address that in future tutorials. Thanks for watching.